Hello everyone, it's Maggie from North Carolina. I finally completed the Junk Journal July 2024 challenge. Uh, so I wanted to do a flip through of the completed journal. This is the original cover. Um, I did because it had so many um, greeting cards glued together. I did want to give it a more polished look. So this is not necessarily structural, but it's something that I decided would look nice. And I added a back cover. I've never done one of these before, so I'm like really excited that I actually um, completed a whole month worth of prompts. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, so the, just so that uh, in case you don't know, I had a whole bunch of greeting cards that I didn't care for and um, haven't been using. And so the construction of this was that I would take a card back and glue it to a front. And I just did a whole bunch of those before starting. Okay. Prompt one was spark. And um, I don't know that I'm going to say that much about any of these. Um, just basically do a th flip through. But prompt one is spark. Don't you know you are a shooting star? Prompt two is postcard. So this is a postcard of um, Glacier National Park in Montana, complete with original handwriting from 1970. And then I did feature Ansel Adams because he um, uh, photographed that. This is his photograph. Wildlife conservation, etc. Okay. Um, prompt three is fold. Uh, during this video, um, I did this origami heart, always in my heart. And if you open this up, there's a picture of my mom in here. And I did attach it to the page. I don't think that was in the actual video, but I attached it to the page. Um, I basically did a collage uh, with different words that made me think of her. Love stamp, flowers. Um, this is a lily. Mom's name was Lillian. Oh, she passed away two years ago. And so I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a tribute for her there. Prop four, labels. These are all different labels, and I just made a collage. There's a care label. There's a, um, a barcode. Um, just all different types of labels, even like label shapes from stamps. The next prompt is two pages, and uh, the prompt is... Um, lettering. So I took the word love and did it in all different fonts and letterings. And these were from an old, old stencil kit that actually said lettering. So uh, this prompt is wildlife. Again, dual page. Uh, on this page is all water creatures and amphibians. And then uh, these are birds. And this size inside is the four-legged creatures. And I did hold that together with magnets. This prompt is window. Over here I put outside looking in. I graffitied on the wall with my husband and mine initials. Um, this prompt is observe. And I have this gentleman observing uh, the flag and pledging his allegiance. Scraps. It's just all scraps. Stuff that was hanging around. 
Um, 10 and 11 thread and stamps. And then these prompts is packaging and light. I used the packaging for, um, I want to say it was um, electronics. Maybe it was like a, like a, I think it was a sand disc. I don't remember what the product was. I'm going to say it was a, um, uh, an SD card. And so I made it, uh, I wrote from sunrise to sunset, God's promise remains. And so the card shows sunrise and sunset, which are two different times of light. And then without light, you couldn't have that rainbow. Um, this one is weather. So we've got lightning, snow, a weather balloon, and a woman in a uh, retro thermal outfit for outdoors. This is homemade. So in this one, I took a, a main pa a page in the back of a recipe book that had places where you could jot down your own recipes. It's a recipe card. It's a recipe for lump cookies. And then here is a recipe for preserved children. Take one large field, half a dozen children, two or three small dogs, a pinch of brook and some pebbles. Mix the children and dogs well together and put them on the field, stirring constantly Pour the brook over the pebbles, sprinkle the field with flowers, spread over all a deep blue sky and bake in the sun, and one brown set away to cool in the bathtub. Petals. And then this, this page is called Aged. This is my dad in a recent picture. And this is my dad in a picture from when he was a teenager. And then over here I put nothing gold can stay. I tried to make it like layered. Kind of a little bit progression of time. On this one, the prompts were free and tag. So free is the ivy freely flowing and climbing. Climbing off the page, being free from being on the page. And tag is just a little plant tag that you get when you buy a potted plant. This one is colors and picture. So here's your color wheel. I did originally have buttons on here, but they didn't survive. So I just put little pieces of Velcro. And then this you can also slide out and turn around for a different view. And this was a picture from... I'm going to say probably around like 92, 1992, uh, that I had laying around. Okay, and then this one is um, timeless. So for this one, I did a, a, a bookstore, and I collaged it with a house to make it look bigger. And... Um, and Books and bookstores and libraries to me are timeless because they can transport you to different places in time. The love of reading is timeless. I have these loose stamps I might mount. I haven't yet, but I like this one. It's called A Nation of Readers. And then I have different poets and authors. This is Paul Lawrence Dunbar. So this was timeless and it was also tipping. And this is a tip-in, as is this. Oop. On this, we just have, uh, it's uh, ephemeral and tea dyed. And so the backing page is tea dyed. And then everything else in here is um, stuff that I think of just kind of like would be laying around, maybe not being used a second time until, of course, you juncture on it. Oh, I just want to go back. So there were two prompts on this. It was colors and picture. Now this one was poetic and shade. So what I did here was I did a collage of people walking down a shady trail. Uh, or running. This guy's running. This guy's 
pointing his telescopic lens at the sun. And then there's a Langston Hughes poem about um, running and needing to get out of the shade and shadows and run towards the sun. And then this is the final prompt, which was buttons, contrast, celebration, and shine. I really enjoyed this, and I would definitely do a um, another 30-day challenge. I don't know of one for September. Um, if you do know of one for September this year, uh, please comment below. I'd love to uh, join in. I really enjoyed it. I think I grew a lot. I think it, um, for me, I'm really proud of the fact that I had the discipline to finish it. I finished it a month late. I could have had every excuse to quit, like, oh, it's over and I'm not doing it. And I just kept going. Uh, probably harder than that is the actual videoing of the process. Um, so if you look at any of my earlier videos, you will see that I have, um, a few different filming styles and I don't know that I'm done growing with that process yet. Um, yeah, I would love to hear from anybody who's watching my videos and, uh, I will see you next time.